good team exclusive and welcome back to some more fifa 21 content today we are as you can see behind me going through a well i mean technically you can't actually see it right now but we are going through a premier league team of the season prediction um i've obviously covered them up these are my starting 11 predictions we've got the four reserves because as far as we know there is only 15 items uh, released for the team of the season this is barring any kind of objectives and SBC players, there's no point predicting those because I don't really know how they're actually picked. Uh, obviously, I'd imagine uh, the starting 11 reserves would be picked by performance base, but I don't know if your objectives and SBCs are as well. And also, this um, doesn't include the potential of a team of the season, Wan Bissaka. I am recording this before 6pm uh, on Friday, so I don't know if he's released. If he is, I don't know if he'll be included in the Premier League team of the season or not. So this is excluding him. This is just going off my uh, my merits of what I uh, of what I've seen of Premier League football uh, this season. Who I think has done really well. Uh, it's my prediction of of just players I think are, are deserving of it. And obviously, I've tried to be unbiased completely. So obviously, I am an Arsenal fan. I would love to see some Arsenal team of the seasons, but realistically. It is not going to happen. We we are what currently ninth, and going off the assumption that Man City is going to win the title, yeah, it's uh, it's not looking good for us. It's not looking good for Arsenal. But Man City, on the other hand, I think could be in a shout for a good few, a good few number of team of the seasons. But um, okay, so obviously we're going to go through the starting eleven first. I'm going to start off with the goalkeeper. Now, uh, in the way of the goalkeeper, I think it it can really only be one person. Uh, I think it has to be. Edison I think he's done really really well obviously I think there's a good number of goalkeepers that have done really well but also being in in the Man City side that again uh, we don't know is confirmed yet but I think it's looking likely that Man City are going to win the title so I think he's probably very very deserving it, uh, of a um, team of the season space the defenders I've gone with so let's get rid of those the two defenders I've gone with is uh, we've got Soyuncu and John Stones. Again, John Stones being part of Man City, I think he's done really well. Again, there could be a good number of of uh, centre backs in the Prem that could that could deserve it. But also, um, I, I just think he's uh, I think he's done really well. I think he's really good as well. And obviously for England, he's quite good. Um, I don't really know who else you could uh, you could really look at. I mean, besides David Luiz and Gabriel, I mean, who really is there? Who really is there in the Prem that's, that's better than those? But I also gone with Suincho. Um, From what I've seen, I think he's been really good. Just, you know, I, I've been watching quite a lot of um, Premier League football. I've been trying to watch as many games as possible, not just Arsenal games, but also uh, just Premier League football to see who who is good for, for this very main purpose. And I, for what I've seen, I think he's really good. I think he's really good. So I've given him a 91 rated card. Um, I've tried to be somewhat accurate. Or, or semi-accurate with maybe what, what kind of stats he might have. And obviously with Edison, it's pretty irrelevant being a goalkeeper. But, I mean, it, it would just be basically 99 in every stat with a, with a basic. Um, John Stones, on the other hand, looks incredible. I've just... Uh, again, I don't know how they... I know this is kind of going off, off on a point. But uh, I don't know how or when they choose to upgrade them. If it's from their last inform or if it's from their last card in FIFA. Um... I've gone off his latest inform, which is the same as his moments anyway, but um, just giving it like a plus six or seven in pretty much every stat. It just looks insane. Uh, Soyuncu, on the other hand, looks very like meh. He's probably one of those that if he is ever released, one you'd probably pack a lot and is just a bit just a bit meh. So not brilliant, but also not terrible. Not terrible either. Um, but yeah, so there's my centre-backs and goalkeeper. The midfield, I think, is pretty much a, a foregone conclusion. Um, the first one we've got, let's get rid of... Oh, no, we've got the fullback, sorry. Let's go with the fullbacks first. Um, that is actually quite important. So, first one, left back, is none other than Luke Shaw. Um, again, there's probably quite a few. You could probably say Mendy from Man City. Um, but again, I don't want this to be too Man City heavy. There is quite a few already. So... Yeah, without being without being too biased towards them, I think Luke Shaw has done really well. I think he's proven himself, especially with the signing of Alex Tellers in Man City side, uh, Man Man United side. Sorry, um, I think he's proven himself to be, you know, up there as as, as world class, as world class. He hasn't just kind of like sat there and accepted that his position has been taken by Tellers, who should be. I mean, he he was obviously he is high rated on FIFA, so you'd have thought. 
You'd have thought he'd be better, but um, I, I don't know. From what I've seen, they've played in real life anyway. Um, I think Luke Shaw is definitely better. He's definitely proven himself to be a world-class left back. So I've stuck him in there. 92 rated as well. So it's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty nuts. Um, definitely up there as contender for best left back um, or best fullback in the Prem. In obviously FIFA, obviously. Anyway, um, but yeah, 92 pace, 92 defending, 90 physical, 90 dribbling looks ridiculous. Um, if that is again, what kind of stats we'd be looking at now for the right back? There's a few. I think there's a few. You've obviously got Hector Bellerin. Um, obviously that's a joke. Uh, but you've got like Jao Cancelo. I think Carl Walker. Um, Wan Bissaka again. He might be in the community team of the season, so he might just take this spot regardless. Who knows? But I've gone with Carl Walker. Again, from what I've seen in real life, I think he's bossed it. I think he's been really good. He's had moments where he's, you know, he's not been as good. I think everybody's had those moments in this season. It's been very, like, up and down. Teams, like, again, you could say, like, at the start of the season, uh, like, Liverpool, Man City, they weren't doing great. But then in the latter stage of the season, they kind of picked up their form and they, they actually were doing quite well. Um, so, yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult to decide. But I've gone with Carl Walker. I think he's bossed it. I think he's been really good. And obviously, again, part of the Man City side that could potentially win the Premier League. But yeah, if he got a card, I mean, you just look at those stats. Obviously, this being a, a guess, but you look at those stats and that's that's scary. That That is stuff that makes you shit your pants. But uh, yeah, so let's move on to the midfield. Get rid of those. And the three midfielders I've gone with. Now, the first two, uh, like I was saying, is a foregone conclusion, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to be Kevin De Bruyne, um, I've given him a 98 rated card. His team of the season was 96, I do believe. Um, so I've just kind of plus two on everything. And that's just like, it's just, that's a ridiculous card. Really is ridiculous. And even though I, he's part of Man City, even if he wasn't, I think he's he's done incredible things. He's really good. Uh, always been really good. Obviously got a team of the year because he's really good. And I think he's going to get a team of the season. I think that's pretty... Uh, pretty standard now the next one is of course you probably guessed it is Bruno Bruno Fernandes um yeah he's just he's just sensational um I don't know I, I like you you watch this guy play and he's just nuts like he whenever he gets the ball you always expect him to do like mad things and of course he is somebody in FIFA who got a team of the year um 90 97 I do believe it is and I've I bumped him up to 99 I'd have a guess. I, I, I'd be very surprised, and actually, I wouldn't. I, I would be, I'd be welcomely, welcomingly. Yeah, we'll go with it. Welcomely, welcome, welcomingly surprised if he did get a team uh, ninety-nine rated. I wouldn't be surprised if he if he didn't do that and gave him a ninety-eight just to be boring. But um, I've given him a ninety-nine. And again, plus two on everything. So he's got 93 pace, 99 shooting, 99 passing, 99 dribbling, 90 physical, and 86. That, that card is literally the stuff of nightmares. Probably would be one of, if not the best card in the game until maybe, like, I don't know. I actually think he probably would be, he probably would be the best card in, in FIFA if that was the case. Um, would be nuts. But I do think he is deserving of a team of the season regardless of his FIFA performance. But uh, the last one is, again, uh, a very deserving one. I think that's Ilkay Gundogan. Uh, he's bossed it. And again, you look at his FIFA performance and he's got Informs, Team of the Year, uh, Player of the Months. No idea I got to Team of the Years, but yeah, he's got Player of the Months, all that kind of stuff. So he, he's bossed it and he's, yeah. Again, you watch him in real life and he's just, he's so good. So, so good. So I'm giving him a 94 rating. Again, I, I don't quite know how they're going to boost these cards or how much or whatever they're going to... If they're going to go nuts and, like, do a plus eight or something on some people, that that could be crazy. But uh, either way, regardless, from his 88 player of the month, I believe it is, or 89, I've gone up to a 94 for him. And his, his card, obviously, plus 80s, just looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, let's go on to the front three. So the front three, the last three in the starting 11. Um... It's controversial because I think there's quite a few players that probably could take some of these spots. You could look at maybe like Grealish. You could look at maybe Sterling potentially. I haven't chosen Sterling or Grealish, but I mean, any of those possibly could get in. You could argue that they, they've been really good as well. Um, Striker is a difficult one for me because 
like who who really is there who's who's done really good things that deserves of being like one of if not the best striker in the prem um maybe gabriel jesus i don't think he's been that good though uh Firmino, again don't think he's been that good or bamiang he has been really good for arsenal but i think for arsenal's performances i don't think he deserves it so for what i've gone with is the right wing is going to be riyad mares um again Another one, I've said this so many times, but part of that Man City side that I think is going to win the title. Again, it's very Man City heavy. I don't know. I don't know if that makes a factor or not for EA's decision. If they're like, oh, there's too many of one club. I don't know if that's a thing or not. But either way, it, it is a bit disgusting. Um, but regardless, I think Riyad Mahrez, he's been really good. You watch him in real life as well. And he's just sensational. Uh, done bits for the Man City side. So I think he's uh, I think he's up there for a, for a very good shout. Again, you could argue maybe Mo Salah, um, Ziyech maybe he's played on the right, so he could uh, could be in for a shout. But again, like Chelsea hasn't done well, so I don't know, I don't know. But that's what I've gone with. That's my prediction is Riyad Mahrez. Of course, if you do disagree with any of these, let me know in the comment section below or leave a dislike. It whichever you know vents your frustration is absolutely fine. Um, and the last two we're just going to rip off like a band aid has been, in my opinion the best partnership of the Prem. Now, no, I'm not talking about Lacazette and Pepe. I'm, of course, talking about Hyung min Son and Harry Kane. Now, again, for me, this is my prediction, but this is what I've gone with, just because watching them in real life, the link-up play, you know, Harry Kane, maybe nowadays not really an out-and-out -out striker, uh, maybe more playing as like a cam or false nine centre-forward, but like, Hyung Min Son and Harry Kane are just like sensational together. They they have this kind of wizardry that that I don't fully understand. Um, and it's it's really nice to play. Again, admittedly, Spurs have done pretty, eh, pretty pretty eh in the Prem uh, and in Europe, but um, I think I think that's uh, I think that's very deserved of uh, how they actually play in real life. Is uh, yeah, I'd be surprised if they if at least Hyung Min doesn't get in. Maybe not so much Harry Kane, but he has done bits still. He has done bits and he's always world class regardless. And uh, potentially could be could be his final season at, at Spurs. I don't know. It's supposedly rumoured to be looking for a move away. So we might see uh, a Real Madrid or <laughs> Barcelona Harry Kane. Can you imagine if that was the case? Um, but yeah, so there's my starting 11. Of course, run through again. Got uh, Edison in goal, Stones. And Soyuncu partnered with Carl Walker and Luke Shaw. Midfield three of Bruno uh, Bruno Fernandes, uh, Kevin De Bruyne and Ilkay Gundogan with Riyad Mahrez uh, at the right. Human Son on the left and Harry Kane up top. It's a pretty beastly team, not going to lie. Pretty beastly team, so that's my prediction. Of course, if you have any disagreements or anybody you think could get in over anybody else, maybe somebody I've forgotten, do let me know in the comments section below. Uh, we, are, of course, are going to move on to the reserve four okay so there is the four reserve players left because obviously like i mentioned there is only 15 items from team of the season being put in packs as far as we know from community and efl uh, they are only doing 15 so this is going off the assumption they're going to do that for all leagues bear in mind they could change that and make it up to a 23 man squad again like they had in most years or a 20 man squad like they had last year so who knows, really? There's lots of things on the cards, and this is just going off what we know currently. So, the four last players I've gone with. So, let's get rid of uh, this guy. Now, I actually can't remember who this guy is, but I... Oh, yeah. So, I've gone with uh, Marcus Rashford. Um, again, it's a, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one, but I think that has to be... If he... I, he might make the starting eleven over Human Son, just because Manchester United are, of course, second currently in the Prem, and um, yeah, it, it's a tough one. You could say like somebody like Vardy, he's done good, uh, good things, but uh, again, of my personal opinion and from what I've seen, I think Rashford has been incredible. You could also argue maybe Greenwood could uh, get in for a shout. Um, yeah, it's difficult. There's, there's probably a lot of players from Manchester United that probably do deserve to be in it that I've probably forgotten, but I've gone with Rashford. I think he's a really good shout and he's always contender for team of the season pretty much every year. But um, regardless, you can't argue with that card. It looks nuts. 
98 pace, 94 shooting, 93 passing, 95 dribbling, 91 physical. I mean, his previous 89 was was nutty, and I've just boosted it by five, and it's just ridiculous. It's just, just ridiculous. Um, so swiftly moving on, we're going to go to which one is this one? The right hand side, and that is going to be Tierney from Arsenal. Of course, you know, kind of going back on what I said about Arsenal doing shits, so they probably don't deserve it, but um, I think. Tierney has been really good in the Prem. I think he's done bits. Um, and even though Arsenal has kind of kind of shat the bed on this season, I think he um I think he's been amazing. So he definitely, definitely deserves for a shout. Um the next one is going to be the right hand side, and that is going to be Diogo Jota from Liverpool. Um It's another one, isn't it? It's another one where it's like a team that hasn't done so well, but probably deserves um but probably deserves for a shout for at least one team of the season card. Um, again, you could probably see Salah. I don't think Mane deserves it this year. He probably, I don't think he does. Firmino probably doesn't. I don't think he's done well. Yeah, maybe like um, Wijnaldum possibly. But I don't think they've done enough to, to get into team of the season. But if you watch um, any Diego Jota gameplay in, in real life. Uh, but if you watch um, if you watch Diego Jota play, he, he's just sensational. A lot of times I think he comes off the bench as a sub, but regardless, he, he scored goals, he's he's done bits, and I think he's uh I think he's very deserving of it. So stuck him in there. That's my that's my prediction of the third fourteenth man um in the team of the season squad. Um yeah, card looks still really good as well. Sent forward cam roll. He he would boss it for you. He would boss it and probably he probably would be quite expensive as well. Um just because of those Portuguese links, but regardless. The last one today is somebody I think that slipped maybe under the radar, especially on FIFA. Um, I think EA haven't really credited this guy enough in FIFA terms of like informs and stuff for the stuff he does in real life. Um, and that is none other than Patrick Bamford. I think he's uh, I think he's world class playing for Leeds. Obviously, maybe not such a desirable team in the Prem or, pre or a team that's done incredibly amazing they've, i think they've done well for their first season in the prem uh, or back in the prem should i say um and yeah i think patrick bamford has led that role um of course they did have the recent signing of rodrigo at leeds and he he has like uh, who but yeah so there is my there is my team of the season prediction rashford tierney diego diogo jota and patrick bamford Let's just get up the starting 11 and there we go. So that is my prediction. Of course, like I've said a few times, do let me know in the comment section below if you disagree with any of these or if you've got any changes you'd make, uh, which players you'd you'd probably think maybe deserve it more than the ones I've shown. Bear in mind, of course, this is just a prediction of what I think is going to happen. I think it's really fun to do these. I really enjoy just making the graphics um, and the prediction side of it, I think is really fun to try and actually determine who could you know, get in, who actually deserves it as well, is another thing. So I might have got a few wrong. And of course, let me know what you think in the comment section below. But there we go. So there we go. Um, yeah, I'm not sure when you'd see this. This might be on Saturday, um, depending obviously what comes out on Friday and what team of the season we have. There might be a bit of a pack opening on then. So um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff coming. Very exciting times in FIFA though. Regardless of who actually gets into the Premier League team of the season, I think it's going to be an absolute banger. I think there's, I think I'd love to see EA just boost whoever gets in just heavily. Even if it's like a Soyuncu, I'd love to see him boosted even more than what I've given. So put him up to like 93 rated, have him at absolutely mental stats. That would be crazy. That would be absolutely crazy. But uh, yeah, time, time will tell. Either way, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content and you haven't already, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time.